No more intros. You already know what's going on with the Zoom app. Everyone is suspicious now. So today I'll show you 10 alternatives to Zoom app. So before getting to the video, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it would be highly appreciated. So you know what issues are going on with the Zoom app. That's why I'm here to help you out. So here is the first step. Starting from the bottom, now we're here. Sorry about that. Starting from the bottom, we have Easy Talks. Easy Talk is an alternative for the Zoom app. You can have 100 people in one call for 40 minutes of video call limit. You can unlock the limit and many other features in the paid plan. And the coolest thing about the Easy Talks is the whiteboard feature. You can share a whiteboard where you can doodle things and brainstorm your ideas in the conference call and share that across the call. So that's a really unique feature that Easy Talks has. But coming down to the second one, we have Discord. Discord is one of the best and fastest growing platform. It is one of the most loved platform by gamers. The user interface is quite familiar to the Microsoft Teams. You can create different channels for the different projects and you can also share your screen. The mobile app is also there if you want to have it on your smartphone. But basically to get started, all you need to do is sign up for a Discord account and make calls. That's it. Skype meet now. So you might be using Skype, but check this out, Skype Meet Now. It's a fairly new application that is brought up by Microsoft. Skype Meet Now is an excellent alternative for the Zoom app. You can use it for personal and for business purposes, and you can add up to 50 participants in one call. One outstanding and simple feature it has is the usability. You don't have to sign up for any account or anything. Just go to their website and generate a call, send the link to everyone and start a video call. It's simple as that. All of this is free of cost. I would say this is the best alternative out there. Other than that, you get ability to record calls, blur background before entering the call and screen sharing as well. And no need for any download, just go to the call link in the browser and start your call. Now Microsoft has another service to offer. It's a Microsoft Teams. This service is a paid service, but during this pandemic, it's free of cost. Some of the features include unlimited chat and search, group and one-on-one -on -one audio and video call. You will also get 10 GB of team storage and 2 GB of personal user storage. And if you happen to have Office 365 account, then you will get real-time collaboration with Office apps like Word, Excel. And last but not the least, if you talk about the participants, then you can add up to nine members in their free plan. Cisco WebEx. Now, if you're looking for an app more focused on enterprise and businesses, you should check out the Cisco WebEx. It was a paid service, but during this pandemic, all the features are now available for free, which includes unlimited usage and no time restriction and participants up to 100 people. So setup is simple. Just go to the link in the description and sign up for the service and you will be ready to go. You can access it from your web browser or you can also download the iOS or Android app. Cisco WebEx also features screen sharing, which makes it perfect for business use. Zoho Meetings. This is a solution for enterprises and businesses as well, but this is best suited for webinars. You can have 100 participants in the base plan and along with that, you will get features like analytics, polls, questions, and answers. There is no requirement for any app download. It is based on web browser. So all you need is a Chrome extension. Blue Jeans. Doesn't sound like any of the meeting app, but again, this is a paid solution meant for businesses. You can have up to 20 people. And the standout feature is the intelligent meeting highlight video creator, which creates highlight video of the meeting automatically. Although it requires more space, but it is there if you need. Now, this is our good old friend, trusty WhatsApp. This is a perfect solution for personal use and maybe some time for business. And recently they extended the limit to eight people for the video call, which is awesome. Everyone here in India has WhatsApp, so which makes this best and easy alternative to Zoom app. Now Google Duo is another great way to have personal video calls at great audio and video quality. You can have up to 12 people in a call and the call can be made from the mobile app or from the browser. Simple and clean. Google Hangout. 
Another app from Google for video conferencing, you can go to hangouts.google.com to make a call straight from your browser and you can have up to 150 users which makes it one of the best platform if you want to conduct this large scale call. But those were some of the best free and paid alternatives to the Zoom app. But which app are you using for making these video calls during this period? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear here. I mean read that. And that's it for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did just click the like button below share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet until then stay safe bye bye